Hi everyone, it's Kylie from Painted Wing. In today's video, I'll be painting a penguin with watercolors. I'll have the reference image in the description of the video. Once you get sketch drawn, let's get started painting. This penguin here is swimming in the water, so I'll be starting off with a loose wash. For this loose wash, I'm using a large flat brush to first apply clean water to my paper. I won't be adding water to the entire paper, just to where I want the blue wash to be. Next, I'm dipping my brush into blue paint. Any blue shade should work, and then I'm adding it to the water. I'm focusing most of my paint to the right side of the page. I want my composition to be a little asymmetrical. And I'm switching to a round brush to paint around the top of the penguin's body here. I'm going to add some extra pigment to the wash over here. And then I'm going to splash some clean water into the wash to create texture. After the wash dries, we'll begin working on the eye of the penguin. For the eye, I switch to a small round brush and gray paint. I'm using Payne's Gray. Next, fill in the inner eye with a diluted wash of blue paint. and then add some thin lines. You can either use gray paint or use a mixture of blue and gray. While that dries, let's begin painting the beak. The beak will be painted using gray paint as well. Start off by outlining it. To spray out some of the paint here, I'm using a wet brush and moving it back and forth. Now over here, there's a hint of green on the beak. I'd recommend using a light green. I'm using sap green. And then there's also some pink near the beak. I don't remember the exact color of pink that I'm using. I usually use Rose Doray by Windsor Newton or diluted rose color. Now that the eye of the penguin has fully dried, add a dark black pupil. Around the penguin's face, add thin details of saturated gray paint. Now along the inside of its neck, we want things to be lighter. So for this slide, I'm using a diluted amount of blue paint. Once 
While that dries, let's continue working on the beak. Again, I'm adding Payne's Gray. To sprout this paint, I'm dipping my brush into water, and then I'll begin pulling things out. Switch to a smaller brush for the details. I'm going to continue adding gray to the face. I'll be switching between a small and a large brush, depending on how much paint I want to add. On the top of the head, I want to transition this gray to blue. To lighten the paint and spread it out, I'll add some water. Then some more gray and blue. To create some texture, I'm dropping in some water into the damp paint. Here you can see that texture forming. I want this piece to be cool and icy in color and texture.
Along this black stripe, I'm adding small dots of gray. Just paint out tiny circles using a small brush. For a small hint of warmth, I'm going to add yellow ochre right next to the gray here. A few more small dots along the edge. Along the front of its chest, I'll continue adding yellow ochre and gray. Now for the back, I'm switching to a large round brush, and I'll be adding a mixture of blue and gray for a darker blue color. I want to abstract this area a little. To loosely paint this area, I'm dipping my brush into water and adding it to the edge of the paper. Then drop in some gray and blue paint into the water. And then you can spread that out. I'm creating sort of abstract blobs. Now for the penguin slipper, I'll be mixing together raw umber and paints gray to get a warm brown black color. The paints I'm using are by the brand Daniel Smith. I know some other brands raw umber can look yellow, but this one doesn't. If you're ever unsure what color I'm using, just try to match it by looking at it. And I'm sort of blending this into the previous layer, and then allow the wash to dry. Along the edge of the flipper, I want to add crisp, dark lines of gray. I'm using a white on dry technique to get thin, controlled lines. The chest of the penguin is white, but we want to add some color, so I'm adding a line using yellow ochre with a small amount of gray mixed in. For this back flipper, I'm using yellow ochre, blue, and gray. I'm adding more saturated gray pigment to the flipper.
and then a thin line of gray over here. There's a light stripe here. For the stripe, I'm using yellow ochre and raw umber. While things are still wet, I'm dabbing in a small amount of gray paint. To continue the abstract blue wash from earlier, I'm adding some blue behind the flipper and having it spread out over here. I'm dabbing in some more gray and then some more blue. That color looks a little bright, so I'm going to add some extra water to dilute it. This painting's almost complete. I'm going to increase the value on certain parts of the painting, such as over here. And then along the back, I just want to add some more contrast. And then this painting is complete. Thank you so much for watching as I paint this penguin. I hope you had a fun time painting.